Wow! And it is all over! What's up guys? Jeremy from All Day MMA. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, usually I don't get too upset or all worked up about fight bookings. There's been quite a few good bookings lately, such as Nate Diaz versus Anthony Pettis, the grudge match. That should definitely be a good scrap. I'm excited about that one. Another good one that was just booked, Tony Ferguson and Donald Cowboy Cerrone. So two really good fights have been booked within like the last week. But unfortunately, there's also one very, very, very bad one in my opinion that really kind of irritates me and pisses me off. It makes absolutely no sense at all and it's a huge disservice to one of the UFC's greatest up and coming fighters who also just happened to defeat quite convincingly the king of Rio Jose Aldo in his backyard and that fighter is Alexander Volkanovsky who I thought 100% without a doubt would be next in line for a title shot versus Max Holloway instead what do I hear when I'm listening to Ariel Helwani's MMA show this morning Apparently, the UFC just booked Max Holloway versus Frankie Edgar as Max Holloway's next title defense. That makes zero sense. Now, I like Frankie Edgar as much as the next dude. He's a very likable person, seems like a really good dude. But he's on a one-fight winning streak. One! He already had his chance at a number one contender fight. And that fight was against Brian Ortega. And we know we all know how that went down. He got viciously knocked out. So you would have thought he would have lost his spot in line. Now apparently he stepped up, did the UFC a favor, and took that fight when he didn't have to. Apparently he could have just waited it out and got his title shot. But the fact of the matter is he didn't. He did take the fight against Brian Ortega. That fight did happen and he did get knocked out. You can't just erase that from everyone's memories and pretend it didn't happen. And like I just said, as likable as Frankie Edgar is, he's only on a one fight winning streak. And that win was against Cub Swanson, who hasn't exactly looked like a world beater as of late. Cub Swanson's a great fighter. He's a legend. He's been around forever. But Cub Swanson has now lost four fights in a row. So how does beating a Cub Swanson who's on a four fight losing streak get you a title shot against Max Holloway? Does that make any sense to anybody. Am I going crazy here? Frankie Edgar's overall record is 23 and 6. It's a great record. The dude's been around forever. Sure, he did the UFC a favor. I'm sure he's done a bunch of favors for the UFC. But how do you give him the title shot over Alexander Volkanovsky, who's 20 and 1, and as I just mentioned not too long ago, he just beat Jose Aldo, and Jose Aldo himself just finished two fighters that were on the brink of contendership in Jeremy Stevens and Renato Carnero. So am I the only one that's confused here? Does this not make sense to anyone else? It seems like a no-brainer that Alexander the Great Volkanovsky would absolutely get the next shot at Max Holloway's title. Instead, we're getting Max Holloway versus Frankie Edgar. Where is the logic? What are you doing, Sean Shelby? I'm sure it's on more than just his hands. Maybe he was pressured into it by Dana White or someone else, or maybe Ali got to him. I don't know. Ali seems to have a lot of pull with the UFC these days. As crazy as he seems of a person and a manager, there's no doubt he does a great, great, great job of getting his fighters into good fights. This, if nothing else, should absolutely prove that that he is very good at his job. He might not be the most likable person in the world, he might have a really sketchy past, depending on what you believe and what you don't believe, but he's absolutely 100% good at his job. So, in my opinion, I think Ali pulled some strings behind the scenes, and he's the reason that Frankie Edgar is getting this fight. Because like I said, based on logic, it makes zero sense at all, and there's absolutely no argument to be had for Frankie Edgar over Alexander Volkanovsky. Does not make sense. Fights, fight bookings like this drive me crazy. I'm as big of a fight fan as anybody out there, I guarantee it. And I love to watch fights. And I think the Max Holloway, Frankie Edgar fight, I think it will be a pretty solid fight because both of them have cardio for days. But Frankie Edgar doesn't deserve it. That's all there is to it. Like I said, one fight winning streak against somebody who's on a four fight losing streak versus somebody that's 20 and 1 overall 
and is on a 17 fight winning streak. You guys see any comparison? No? Maybe there is an argument to be had, maybe I'm completely missing something here, but fight bookings like this drive me crazy. Just when I thought things were starting to make sense at featherweight, and the rightful number one contender, without a doubt, was going to get his shot after defeating Jose Aldo and Chad Mendes, who have long been at the top of the featherweight division. I thought he was going to absolutely 100% get his shot. I didn't think there was any work at all for Sean Shelby to do. I thought that's about as clear of a fight booking as you could possibly make. And then news comes out that Frankie Edgar is getting the shot over Alexander Volkanovsky. And my head was like this. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about the fight booking down below. Do you think Frankie Edgar should get the shot? Or, like me, and probably the majority of sane MMA fans out there, do you think the shot should, without a doubt, be going to Alexander Volkanovsky? Let me know down below. Anyways, that's a wrap for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Oh my god! Oh my god! Just like that! That is some serious power! Wow! And it is!